Welcome back. So we have all these windows in now after many, many hours of installing. So you would think that when the windows are in, that that's the end and it would just be some cleaner taking off this backing paper and then job done. But this is sailing Krulali and nothing is ever that easy. I ended up breaking this off. It's really hard. It's really hard. This is what you call a fucked tip. So it's, it's no good. So basically what's happened is because these are so old, they're about 30 years old, the backing paper has ended up sticking to the window. And when you try and pull it off, it doesn't want to come off. And even if it comes off, it leaves a residue behind. So if you're using anything that is plastic based, whether it can be a windscreen for a motorbike or a headlight on your car, the number one thing to know is if it's acrylic, perspex, any sort of polycarbonate, basically any plastic, do not, do not use ammonia, acetone, isopropyl alcohol, or any of those things like Windex because it will end up destroying the glass over time. It won't do it straight away, but it will do it over time. Because we're trying to get the paper off, off of the glass, the first thing you want to try and do because it's so dry is to soften it up. A lot of things say to use water, but what I found is that the water just ends up dissolving the paper and not actually dissolving the glue. The glues are mainly based with oil. And so if you add more oil to it, what happens is it will dissolve the glue. So that's the, the first step of this is to add oil to the paper and that will soften everything back. There's all sorts of different oils you can use. From what I've read, the thicker the oil, the less harsh it is on everything. So I started with olive oil. This is a really, really good Australian olive oil made in the Southwest. It's called tipsy oil. So you can, you can apply that. But I found that the thing that worked really well is actually vegetable oil, also known as canola oil. Um, it's a little bit thinner and uh, it seems to have worked really well on this application. All right, so you can see the oil is actually soaking into the paper. So that, that brush right there, that's the oil soaking in. And you wanna leave the oil to soak for at least a day. So this window I soaked yesterday and you can see that the color of the paper has changed. And if you grab a scalpel, paper starts coming off much easier. It's like slime. So you can see there's still a bit of um, residue around the place, but that's all right. You can either scrape that back or you can um, go again with the oil or you can polish that out. You can see the outside of the glass also needs to be cleaned. So you can see these windows here they have a lot of residue on them. The initial instinct everyone would have is to use acetone or isopropyl alcohol. From what I've read, the isopropyl and alcohol or um, muck off or citric cleaner will actually over time cause spider web cracking in the window. So it won't, it'll work initially and then over time it will damage it. I'm not sure why, because you would think it would evaporate, but I'm not willing to risk that. So the best 
way to do it is to use more oil, dilute it more, and then um, scrape it back. It's much better that you have a couple fine scratches and you polish that out than to have um, the actual thickness of the material degrade. Now, the last thing is I did read that on somewhere that you can dilute isopropyl alcohol and then, um, and then use that very quickly in very localized areas. Uh, and I have tried that on, on a spot, um, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it to using only oil so I don't damage the acrylic. So just with some soapy water, I didn't even use the scraper. I was able to get rid of most of the grime uh, on this side and then I'll do the other side now. So there you go, that's one window that went from backing paper that's been glued on and dried out for the last 34 years to basically a brand new acrylic window. Now there's, there's ought to be some uh, little tiny scratches from the blade, but that's very easily polished out using a very specific polish. This is the polish that I use, so it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, and so you, you buff out the window just like you polish metal or anything else or a car. So that's that. And then after that, to seal it, there's this stuff which was developed for the aerospace industry, I guess for helicopters and stuff. And this protects the, um, the window and stops static. I'm not sure why. I'm sure I'll find out. All right, so there you go. One last tip with, uh, with this whole process is number one, well, there's a few tips. Number one, be really patient. Um, you know, I tried uh, everything from using water to a heat gun to, um, to plastic scrapers, to credit cards, to high pressure blasting with a, hot, uh, with a high pressure hose, to different detergents, different oils. I, I looked up everything you could look up on the internet. There's a lot of conflicting information, but the number one thing was to decrease the risk to the windows because they took so long to install. So I would always start with the least risk, which actually is just literally water uh, and your fingernail. And then you can go all the way up to uh, mechanical uh, abrasion and chemical. But all you're trying to do is just remove paper and glue from acrylic. So the, the last tip is with your knife, with the blade. There was a couple of things I learned in this process. One is the blade has a bend in it. Or if it doesn't have a bend, it's perfectly flat. What, what will happen is the edges of the blade will cut into the acrylic. So try and bend it a bit like that and use that curved bit, so you say it's bent like that, and pull down so the edges don't dig in. Because if you dig into the acrylic, it will easily cut in um, and that will cause lots of issues. The second thing is when you're holding it, hold it really firm, you can use gloves, but keep the angle of the blade as flat as possible to the acrylic. So if this is the acrylic, your blade has to sit like that because if you go like that, it will just dig in and cause um, a bit of damage. And I've done that on the first few windows. So apart from that, take your time, use the least risk um, thing possible. Lots of soapy water, lots of clean rags, and uh, good luck.